2017 Greenwood Community Band Festival. A native of Brazil, Indiana, our conductor attended Indiana University and received music education degrees from Indiana State University and Vandercook College of Music in Chicago. He spent 12 years teaching instrumental music in Indiana public schools. <clears throat> he was at Greenwood High School as the band director from 1973 through the summer of 76. More about his Greenwood years in just a moment. I think those are some old students. No, young students. Just young students. <clears throat> in 1976, he took the position of band director at Indiana State University. Then he joined Hal Leonard Music Publishing Corporation, and in 1985, he was part of an internal management team that purchased Hal Leonard. Under his management as senior vice president, he oversaw the development of band, orchestra, and choir publications and has been involved in the development of many educational products and series. Hal Leonard Corporation is now the largest and most innovative music print publisher in the world. He recently retired but still serves as a consultant and clinician. In keeping with his passion for music education, he serves on the board of directors for Music for All, Vandercook College and the Midwest Band and Orchestra Clinic. Even though I'm not going to give him control of the podium quite yet, we would you please welcome our guest conductor, Mr. Herman Null. band director at Greenwood High School, Mr. Knoll received perfect scores with his concert bands and captured the first state championship for the Greenwood Band Program by winning the 1976 State Band Fair Competition. I think a lot of those people over there were probably in it. <clears throat> Many of the things the band does today is a result of Mr. Knoll's contribution to the program. During his time at Greenwood High School, he used the music from the Wizard of Oz from his, for his marching band shows. That tradition continues today as the band uses a warm-up arranged by Michael Sweeney that is built around somewhere over the rainbow. This short 16 major warm-up has been used for over 40 years by the high school band and is a treasured tradition of the past and present band members. So valued is the warm-up that no other band has ever played this arrangement. We are honored that the Greenwood High School band students granted us permission to use this piece for the introduction of our guest conductor. So, in honor of you, Mr. Knoll, the Greater Greenwood Community Band will play the Woodman Warm-Up. <coughs>
first of all, uh, Mr. Morris, would you come up here? And Mr. Sutton, don't go anywhere, <laughs> please. And I would also like, uh, while Mr. Morris is coming up, anybody who was in the 70s band when you put up with me as the band director, would you please stand? Let me see you guys. Now, do we have anybody here who was in the band and put up with Mr. Sutton? <laughs> now you guys stay standing. I want, you, know, you, you can't sit down yet. Please stand. There's, there's a point to all this. And any current band members who might be here, and anybody who's been a part of the Marching Woodmen, because if you look around, this, this is a very special group. You are a part of a, so we call it a fraternity, a tradition. And while we were the, the people who got, who were innovative in, in getting your tradition started, I find another way to say it, but we were a part of getting your tradition started, we celebrate our tradition because of the work of these two men and the students that followed. And let's say thank you. heels together or anything you can say. <laughs> no, it's it's great to be back in Greenwood. I absolutely we were driving through Greenwood, we were down here for DCI finals and uh, and first of all I should thank my very special friend Tom Dirks whom I've known for at least two years. <laughs> Tom and I were at Indiana State together. So we've been playing music together. We were staying this morning how many years? Uh, two years. Two years. Yeah. The music is for life, and that's what community band's about. And I want to talk about that a little bit after we play our first piece. We're going to do a couple of pieces here. And I told the Greenwood Band I would just try to stay out of the way and let, let them play. But we're going to do America the Beautiful.
No, I, uh, we lived in Europe for two years. Hal Litter sent me over there to, uh, we bought a company called De Haas Publishing and we set up eight offices throughout Europe. And community bands are a really big deal in Europe. And as a matter of fact, I grew up playing in a community band and the only way Sandy and I could have dates when she was in high school and I was a senior in high school was the fact that we played at rehearsal on Tuesday night so we could have a date on Tuesday night because of the community band in Brazil, Indiana. So community bands has a lot of benefits. <laughs> <laughs> but the point, one of the things I want to mention is that with community bands, you know, when people play in bands, bands is for life. If you don't believe it, out there on the hill and around here, I see students we've had and they're getting together because they've, you know, they've got the blood, sweat, and tears they put into band together, and it's and it's a community for life. And I and I got some former students here from North Judson and some former students here from Martinsville, and you know, all that time you put in together and what you do artistically makes a difference. You know, when I played basketball, I wasn't very important, but I can tell you, when we were on that marching field, everybody was important. You know, and that's the way band is. No matter what you're on, everybody plays a vital, vital role. So, as a part of the Midwest Band and Orchestra Clinic, community bands has become my new passion. And that's how I ended up getting there. One thing is I called Tom, and Tom and I have been friends forever. He's just one of my dearest friends. And I was talking about community bands. He was taking the band to the Netherlands, and I'm going, gee, I wish I could go. Like, would you let me go play trumpet? And he said, no, we can have a good trumpet section. Herman, don't, don't get it. <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, the fact is, music for life. And when we were in Europe, people would say, oh, you have these really good school programs, but the kids don't do things for life. Well, I'm thinking, yeah, well, we have great school programs, and we do have things for life. And the community band movement is growing throughout the country. So please support the community band program here at Greenwood because it's really important. And I think that uh, and it, and it gives meaning to, it gives a lot of meaning to people who pick up their instruments after years. And for somebody like Tom Dirks, who had a world-class band at Center Grove, you know, to flip the switch and say, hey, I'm going to start something altogether different is incredible. I really respect what you're doing, Mr. Dirks. Now, I've known Tom Dirks for so long, I could also tell some unflattering stories, but I won't go there. <laughs> you know, it is great to be back to Greenwood. And um, I told Sandy and I were driving down here, and I said, you know, honey, did you ever think in your wildest dreams they'd invite me back to Greenwood? And she said, you know what? You've never been in my wildest dreams. <laughs> anyway. We want to have a good time. It is great to be back here. I thank you. I didn't deserve the good treatment I got here in Greenwood. I didn't deserve the good students we had here, the faculty, the, the administration, the parents, this whole wonderful, wonderful community that, that uh, we, we think so highly of. And I thank you, Mr. Sutton, for all you've done, and Mr. Morris for all that you're doing. And uh, we just wish you all the very, very best. So let's have a little fun and play Stars and Stripes forever.
know before you leave this podium and the, and the stage, I would like to present you from the Greater Community Band a token of our appreciation, a, a, a whatever it says here. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, it's a servant. It's a servant. You know, now you know where we have much good friends. We, we cover for each other all the time. <laughs> Thank you, sir, for being here. It's been a great pleasure. And everybody in the audience, and I know on the stage, has grown a lot in many, many ways on their instruments, and would have, like to have you back some year. <laughs> yeah, you still can't play now. No. Some of the, uh, the Greenwood uh, 70s band people, some people requested you come up to stage and get a picture taken after they cleared out. Okay.